In this video, we will show you how to create your first page by using common graphical elements like buttons, LEDs, etc. Starting from the project which we created in the previous videos, go to the project view and expand the folder UI by clicking on the small black triangle on the left hand side of the folder. You will find there three items, the default style sheet, presentation engine and main window. The default style sheet and the presentation engine will be explained in another video. Select main window with a single mouse click and change the properties of the main window to decide whether your project will be shown in a full screen or window mode. The demo will run in a window mode, therefore we keep the status false. Double click on the main window to open it in the editor to add UI elements. There are two ways to add elements. The first one is the context menu. Make a right click on the main window, select New, Base Controls, and you will see the list of all available base elements. The second way is the use of the Tile View. Open the user interface with the double click, Base Controls, and drag and drop the needed element and place it into the main window. Let's add a LED, a label, and a button. Remember that you can change the properties to your needs. For instance, the color of the LED, the text property of the label, and the appearance of the button. We will configure now the button to toggle the LED. For this demo, we will use an internal variable. This can be later connected to an external variable coming from a PLC, for example. Create a new Boolean variable by opening the context menu with the right click on the folder model, select new, variable, and change the data type in the property window. Now we can drag and drop the variable to the LED and to change the state of the LED we need an action. So let's create a mouse click event for the button one. Select the button one, add in the events pane a new mouse click event, select commands, variable commands, and select toggle. Drag and drop the required variable to the property variable to modify. And now we can run the emulator to see if it works. Perfect. Thanks for watching.